Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. I've always wondered what type of application an e-bike would serve within the realm of prepping. So today we are going to take a look at what I like to call my mule, the UE S4 e-bike. This thing is awesome ladies and gentlemen. It's equipped with a 1000 watt motor that's powered by a big 48 volt 25 amp hour battery. Now that translates over to about 1200 watt hours. It has a payload capacity of 400 pounds with a maximum estimate range of 75 miles, but that really does depend on how big a payload you put on it. And in addition to being able to hold up to 400 pounds, this is a very comfortable machine that sports a full suspension system and a very nice cushiony seat. Let's put this thing together and take it for a test drive and see how it does. We are currently in the rainy season, ladies and gentlemen, so I decided to put the UE bike together inside of the greenhouse. This is everything that came with the UE bike. And heads up, make sure that you have a good knife or a good pair of strong scissors when you're taking the box apart because these are all the zip ties right here that I had to cut before being able to take the UE bike out of the box. So as you can imagine, it came very well packed and I have not yet seen any damage so far that is. Let's go ahead and unpack everything so that we can see what it comes with and let's see how easy or difficult it's going to be to put this thing together. The battery, ladies and gentlemen, is a 48 volt battery and has a capacity of 25 amps. Now, if you want to go ahead and simplify this and convert the amp hours into watt hours, all you have to do is multiply the voltage times the amp hours, and then it gives you watt hours. In this case, you have a 1200 watt hour battery, which for its size, in my opinion, is pretty impressive. And of course, it has this on off switch and an input port that allows you to charge it using the charging block that it comes with. And it has a set of keys that are used in order to lock the battery into place, but we'll take a look at that later on. During the unpacking portion of this video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be coming in and out of doing voiceovers because we had a lot of planes passing overhead during this time. All right, I see some tools in here. We've got a uh, crescent wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, Now this turned out to be a simple but very handy multi-tool. And these are a couple of brackets of some kind that we'll find out what they're for later on. These are pedals. This looks really cool. This looks like a headlamp. And you know I like my flashlights, but this looks like a really cool headlamp. And uh, look at that. This is pretty nifty. It came with a small pump. An air pump. This is the charger for the battery. And ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you activate your warranty. It comes with a warranty card. If you purchase your e-bike via the website, it automatically activates your warranty. And it says here that it comes with a one-year warranty, right? So make sure that you do that because you just never know. And for our last box to open, let's see what's in here. This looks like an extra seat in case you want to have a passenger to put back there. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, that this comes very well packed. When you initially take this out of the box, you're going to run into a whole bunch of big zip ties. So make sure that you have a knife or a pair of scissors with you because you're definitely going to need it. And this is what it looks like naked, ladies and gentlemen, with none of the packaging on it. So you can see that this is a multi-gear e-bike. It looks very complicated to me, <laughs> but the seat looks nice and cushy, and man, it is feels nice and cushy, and I'm assuming that back here, you can either go and get some basket accessories, or you can go ahead and put on your additional seat there, and uh, this looks like is where the battery goes, right there, obviously, we have to go ahead and uh, put our handlebar on, and these, for a close-up, this is everything that it came with. So this looks like the front fender, back seat, the owner's manual, that awesome headlamp, 
what I think is really cool to have a later tire inflator, the battery along with the charger, the pedals. I don't know what these clamps are for, but we're going to find out. And of course, the couple of tools that it came with as well. Make sure to read the instructions, ladies and gentlemen, on how to put everything together on the UE bike. Uh, because it looks very simple. So I just looked over the instructions and it has very good pictures on it as well. I'm more of a picture person myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it my first go. Hopefully I will be a first time go on this installation process. This ended up being a lot easier than I thought it would be. I am not a puzzles guy. I don't like putting puzzles together. But to tell you the truth, with no help, I ended up doing just fine by myself. And I don't think I showed you this little tool close enough. But check this out, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty cool. You got everything you need. You open it up. And this right here is kind of like your wrench head. And look. It's got little sockets that you put in here, and there you go. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. So let's go ahead and put this over here on this side, like this. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. All we have to do now is just put on the battery. So you can see that the battery has this part here, right? I don't know names, ladies and gentlemen, but it's got this part here that pretty much hooks up to these guys right there. So it looks like we're going to have to put it in like this. Boom. So let's try it out. And there you go. Now we take our key, put it in there and lock it in place. And now it can't come off. And now that our battery is on, all you got to do is push this button up here and it'll tell you how full it is. Now the way that you turn it on, so you can see that this turns on here, this LCD screen, is going to be by pressing down on this middle button here where it says M. It's a long press, about 2 or 3 seconds. And as you can see, the screen has a lot of nice little information, but it has the current speed in miles per hour. Now you can change it to kilometer per hour if you want. And uh, you can see that our battery is at 100%. And right here where it says PAS that is pedal assist the higher that that number is the more that the bicycle will give you pedal assist meaning that the more that the electric bicycle function comes to play so in order to increase or decrease that number all you have to do is tap on this or press the up or down arrow so if you press the up arrow then the down arrow you can set it to what it is that you want. And like I said, the higher that that number is, the more assistance that you get from the electric motor. Now, something really nice about this bicycle, ladies and gentlemen, is the brakes. There's brakes on both the right and left handle. And they are disc brakes that have their own little calipers. Look at that. Is that cool or what? And you have that on both sides, the front and the back as well well you're going to appreciate this awesome seat it doesn't look very wide take a look at it in comparison to my hand but i'll tell you what ladies and gentlemen it is very comfortable and i'm going to have to go ahead and do a spoiler alert i actually already drove or rode this bicycle for three miles just to get the feel of it and it was very comfortable the entire three miles that i rode it now, talking about speed, this here is your speed control. Right now, the machine is on, so I'm not going to go ahead and twist that. But this works like a throttle where you can twist it back, and the machine will give you 100% pedal assist, meaning that you don't even have to pedal, that it'll just go. And also, you have seven different gears. So right here, you have your gear shift, but you have to make sure that whenever you engage this gear shift up or down, that you're actually pedaling the bike. That way the chain will stay on and it won't fall off. It's just like a regular bike when it comes to changing the gears. And of course, here is your other brake. And let's see if the brake light turns on with this brake as well, because this is the rear brake and this here is the front brake. And there you go, it works ladies and gentlemen. Without using the pedal, just using the pedal assist. And let me tell you what, this thing takes off. <laughs>
when you have the pedal assist on a high number, it actually takes off. Like right now I have it on three. I'm just pedaling and I almost ran over karma. And I'm going up a hill right now. <laughs> and I'm not even, I'm not even asking it for the throttle. It's just going up the hill on my pedaling and look at how easy it is. This thing is pretty awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go on a road trip. It doesn't look like it's going to rain anytime soon, and I've got my helmet on. Hopefully, I won't need it. One thing that my daughter showed me about this bike that I hadn't figured out is, is that when you turn it on, just long press here, and you'll see this turn on right here. See, there you go. That it's got a horn. <laughs> And that in order to turn the actual headlamp on, you have to press this button. Now I'm going to get on this bike. We're going to take it out for a road trip and see what it can do. It is at 96%, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go ahead and put our pedal assist because we're going to be going through a very hilly area. So I'm going to put my pedal assist all the way at 5, which is the maximum power that you're going to get just by pedaling. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to do the first five or so miles with nothing but the throttle and not pedaling to see what happens again we're at about 94 percent battery power starting off and we've got four miles on this bike and you can see that going up this little hill here in my place it's going nine ten miles an hour Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're on pretty flat ground and I'm 100% on the throttle. And we've done about one mile since we started and we're at 93%. And right now we're doing about 25 miles per hour on flat road. And I'll tell you what, these fat tires, they make the ride really nice. In addition to this uh, shock system it has, shock absorbing system that it has, this is a really nice ride. At first, I thought that since the seat didn't look that it was that wide for my fat butt, that it wasn't going to be that comfortable. But this seat is very, very comfortable, very nice and cushiony. It's just good quality seat. I really, really like this e-bike. We might have to get another one. Let's see where we're at. We are at 88% of battery life, and we're about two miles out, and right now we're doing 20 miles per hour. This is pretty impressive. I think we'll be able to do 10 miles, no problem whatsoever, and still have plenty of battery left by the time we get home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about five miles away, and I thought that I'd stop at uh, one of my buddy's place here. He's my mechanic, but he's also my friend, James. And let's go mess around with him a little bit and uh, see if he knows how to work on EVs, electric vehicles. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. What do you think? Hey, Rudy, That's my new Tesla. Your, your Tesla's missing a couple of wheels. <laughs> and about a, about another $80,000 worth of material, well, huh? There's that too. I mean, that's sexy. That is amazing. Wait till I tell you what I've done on it. Well, you know, you know where I live, right, James? Yep. I came all the way from there on this thing. Wow. And uh, I topped out at 37 miles an hour, but on a downhill slide, on a little bit of a downhill, I topped it out at 37 miles an hour. Nice. Nice. Not bad. So I figured that when the apocalypse happens, I can use this as my mule. Ladies and gentlemen, James has a lot more experience than I do, so he probably already knows this story. But I'm going to tell it anyways. You know why? Because I like to tell stories. During the Vietnam War, the North Viet Cong, the North Vietnamese, they used to bring their supplies down the Ho Chi Minh Trail, right. down to South Vietnam. Guess what they used? donkeys they probably used donkeys and stuff like that too but predominantly it was bicycles and those bicycles they used to stack up about a thousand pounds on each bike so i'm thinking hey when the end of the world happens i'm not really going to have anywhere to go except down to the water hole and i can use my e-bike over here as my mule all i have to do is put a little trailer on the back 
and go down to my water hole and instead of actually exerting physical energy and wasting calories that I need to regain by eating more food out of the pantry, I can use the energy of the sun to power the battery and then I can go ahead and use my mule here to go ahead and get my water. And then when things start getting better, you can use it for date night. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and talk to James here. I got to schedule a little appointment for my wife's vehicle, and then uh, we'll head back home and see how much more battery this uses up. You know I'm senile, but I know that when we started, I believe we had like 98% battery. So it's used about 22% of the battery, so about a fifth of the battery. And we've traveled just a little bit over five miles. So we'll see how much more battery it uses between here and there. But we'll have a total of just over 10 miles in total. And we know that we started with 98% of the battery. That'll give us a very good estimate as to how many real miles we can travel on one charge of the battery. So right now we are on a slight incline and uh, we're doing 24 miles an hour even. Pretty impressive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. If you all remember when we left, it was at four miles. So it still came in at just a little bit over 10 miles. And look at this. I think this is pretty good. We've got 48% left of the battery, which means that for a full charge, we can probably get away with 20 miles round trip, which in my opinion is pretty darn good. It's a lot better than having to hoof it. And I didn't think about this earlier, ladies and gentlemen, but check this out. All you have to do is strap the Mighty Mouse onto the back of the bike. And then you have an additional almost 600 watt hours, which gives you about 50% capacity of what the battery holds. Now, I know, ladies and gentlemen, some of you are going to say, well, AP, when you lose more weight, you'll get a little more range out of it. And yeah, there's something that you have to consider. If uh, you're an average sized person, all right, and you're not on the standard American diet, you're going to get a lot more range out of this bike than a fat body like me. But to be able to get about 20 miles of range going up and down hills with this bike, man, I think that's really awesome. I like the concept that you can use the sun's energy instead of your own personal energy during a crisis where you want to save those calories instead of expend them. And I like the fact that this thing can really haul a lot. I'm not being self-deprecating on purpose to try to be funny, but in all honesty, if this thing can haul me for about 20 miles, then you know that it's going to be able to pull and haul things that are heavy that maybe you couldn't carry for five or 10 miles, or even as short of a trip as like one mile round trip to go haul some water. This right here can be your mule. So what would I change about it? Nothing at all, ladies and gentlemen, but I would offer some peripherals like a cart that you can pull behind it that is made specifically for this bike. And of course, some mirrors so that you can see behind you and maybe some baskets that you can add to the sides or to the back. That way we can put our little Mighty Mouse in there and have it give us an additional 10 or 20 miles of range depending on the terrain that you're in. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much to UE Bike for sending me this unit to review. I really, really like it. And like I said, for prepping purposes, it has its place, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to check it out, take a look at the link that I'm going to be leaving on a pinned comment and on the description of the video. And also, they left me with a code to share with you if you're interested in getting one of these and trying it out for yourselves. Other than that, thank you very much for joining in. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.